remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Music mogul Russell Simmons boss checked Oprah Winfrey on Friday in an Instagram post for her recently announced Apple documentary. Not much is known about the documentary, but what is known is that Russell Simmons is a target. A woman by the name of Drew Dixon claimed last year that in 1995, Russell raped her. This is what Russell had to say to Oprah. Dearest Oprah, you have been a shining light in my family and my community, contributing so much to my life that I couldn't list a fraction of it in this blog. I have given you the gift of meditation and the groundbreaking book, The Power of Now. We bonded to say the least. This is why it's so troubling that you choose me to single out in your recent documentary. I have already admitted to being a playboy, more appropriately titled today Womanizer, sleeping with and putting myself in more compromising situations than almost any man I know. Not eight or 14,000 like Warren Betty or Wilt Chamberlain, but still an embarrassing number. So many that some could reinterpret or reimagine a different recollection of the same experiences. Please note that your producer said that this upcoming doc was to focus only on three hand-chosen women. I have refused to get in the mud with any accusers, but let's acknowledge what I have shared. I have taken and passed nine three-hour lie detective tests taken for my daughters that these stories have been passed on by CNN, NBC, BuzzFeed, New York Post, New York Magazine, and others. Now that you have reviewed the facts and you should have learned that I know that these stories are unusable and that hurt people hurt people. Today I received a call from an old girlfriend from the 1980s, which means that they are using my words, evidence against me, and their commitment. All of the claims are 25 to 40 years old. It is impossible to prove what happened 40 years ago, but in my case, Proof exists of what didn't happen, mostly signed letters from their own parents, siblings, roommates, band members, interns, and in the case of two of your three accusers, their own words in their books. Shocking how many people have misused this important, powerful revolution for relevance and money. Maybe you should name your documentary Flavor of Love. In closing, I am guilty of exploiting, supporting, and making the soundtrack for a grossly unequal society, but I have never been violent or forced myself on anyone. Still, I am here to help support a necessary shift in power and consciousness. Let us get to work on uplifting humanity and put this moment and old narrative behind us. So what Russell is saying is, None of these major media outlets believed in his accuser's story. He's saying that the documentary is fake. It's not credible. Because New York Post turned it down. CNN turned it down. NBC turned it down. BuzzFeed turned it down. But Oprah, the black woman, decided... Hmm, he was a successful black man and he has a salacious story here of people accusing him of rape. None of the other major outlets will take the story even though uh, their viewership and likes uh, demand stories like this. They don't believe it, but I believe it. I'm going to go for it. You know what's going to happen. Oprah is going to get her in wake-up call real soon. You want to know how I know that she's going to get her in wake-up call? Because after they use you, they abuse you. 50 Cent came out in support of Russell Simmons prior to Russell Simmons' Instagram post. 50 uh, went in on Oprah about her interview with Michael Jackson's accusers 
and also her friend Gail King's interview with R. Kelly. 50 seems to think, like a lot of us, that Oprah has it in for black men. Here's what he said on Instagram. I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein, no Epstein, just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons. This shit is sad. Gail hit R. Kelly with the Dead Blow documentary. Every time I hear Michael Jackson, I don't know whether to dance or think about the little boy's butts. These documentaries are publicly convicting their targets. It makes them guilty till proven innocent. Straight up. I understand why Oprah is going after black men. Because she hates black men. She's been told by her handlers to go after black men. She has been given the job like Gail King, Stephen A., Charles Barkley, to go after successful black men specifically. They do it because if the other executives did it, people would immediately call it racist. So what they do is they say the things that these executives, these racist executives can't say. That's why she did it. This is it's very clear what's happening here. And I'm going to tell you something. I would not want to be Oprah Winfrey's friend for nothing in the world. She has shown you how she'll turn on you. All hugged up with Michael Jackson, all in the man home. The man invited her into his home several times. She all in the man's house. Oh, Michael, just loving all giddy over him. Soon as the man died, she got documentary out, bringing his accusers on her show, giving them the platform to spread their lies. Then she hit up Russell. And this is after she got attacked and gave a fake apology on the Michael Jackson thing. Now she's coming after Russell Simmons. But Russell Simmons seems to have his uh, act together. He seems to have his, his defense ready. 50 is right. The documentaries, whether there's any truth in them or not, they really are convicting, publicly convicting the targets, uh, human beings, before they're given a chance to come to a decision in court. Like, you watch the documentary, oh, he must have did it. They said he did it, must have did it. Even if you didn't do it, them just putting it out there is now making people look at these guys with a certain amount of suspicion. Not cool, not cool at all. I'm going to wrap this up with not just Oprah, not just Gail King, but for any one of you out there doing the biddings of your oppressor, trying to tear a black man down. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.